Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Proof of Extensions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning all about WordPress feature development. This is our part number 5. Inside this video session guys, we are going to render widget data to our front-end panel. That is all about widget method. If I back to browser. Now inside last video session, this is the widget what we have developed. We have used all about form method as well as update method. But if we go at the front end, now here as we can see that inside this footer, this is all about footer 1 and footer 2. Inside this footer 1, we have a search visit, recent post, recent comments, archives and so on. These are those visits which basically added inside this footer 1 as well as inside this footer 2. Now our visit is inside this footer too. But remember, we haven't used so far all about visit method. So that's why we are getting an error inside this something function WP visit visit method must be overridden in a subclass. This error is quite meaningful. It is including or suggesting that we need to use widget method. So let's enable our widget method inside our my visit and let's see how can we render the content of this visit to this front end. Back to editor. So this is the widget so far we have developed and inside this we have used all about the form method as well as update method. Now we are going to enable let's say public function and we are going to use let's say widget method. Now, if we go all about the core file something class WP visit, which is a core class used to make our custom visit inside WordPress. So this is all about visit method. We are going to, we are going to override this method. So inside this method, we need to pass these two parameters. So copy, go here and pasting it here. This is the arguments which is used to wrap our widget title as well as widget content inside selectors. But inside this instance, we will get all the values what we have saved inside our database. If we go at the front end again, let's say that I am going to inspect this recent post. And as we can see that this is recent post is coming inside this a div. It's a widget content and inside this div, we have a h2 tag. These are the selectors which is basically included by our first parameter that is args and inside these the values we are getting this is able because we have used instance here. So to use selectors we need to use this args which provides like div element as well as our h2 element and this is the value means our existing value what we have saved inside our database. So let's use these variables. So let's say echo and inside this args we have predefined keywords. So something let's say args. We have something let's say before title. It will create a h2 tag. Let's say echo something args. Here we have called after underscore title and in between these two it means that in between these two, we are going to echo our visit title. So let's say that if not empty, here we have let's say instance, inside this let's say title, it means if we have some value, then inside this if block, we are going to echo that title. After this echo title, we are going to make something echo, let's say args, here we have let's say before widget. It means that we are going to include our widget content. So right now for this widget content only we have this time for a description box. Let's say that we have more fields like profile data something, Facebook URL, Gmail URL, let's say Twitter URL. So all these fields are basically comes inside this before widget because inside this we are going to include our widget content. So let's say args. Here we will say after widget. It will give all about the closing of wrapping element. This is for the title and this is 
for the widget content. So in between these two, we are going to copy that, pasting it here, and we have description as a widget content. All we have done now. So if I save this change, go here, reload this page, close this inspect. Now as we can see that this is our title and this is all about widget description. If I inspect this title, now as we can see that by using our arguments we have before title as well as after title. So while including these two, we have now a H2 tag as we can see here. And all the contents what we have inside this widget go inside this widget content. And here is the content what we have written. If suppose if I make comment all these lines and save this change, reload this page. Now as we can see that here we have no selectors like a div or as to tag with these contents. It means that this is the selector which is used to create all about wrapping selectors. If suppose inside our widget we have more fields like like profile details including Facebook URL, Twitter URL, LinkedIn URL than all those profile URLs we will put inside this before widget and before after widget because this is going to create a widget content area. So successfully guys inside this video we have seen all about widget method and I think that we have now completed the first basic widget development. This is the first widget what we have developed by the help of this WP widget. Now in the next we are going to develop a widget by the help of those also we are going to use third party API. It means we are going to make a tracker, tracker widget which will display the informations what we have right now for this COVID-19. By using this API means the API providers by the help of that we will actually show all the data worldwide as well as country wise. So we will hopefully start about the widget development in second phase from the next video. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.